So welcome back, family. We're here with a rip. It's been a while since I ripped some packs. And what better to rip now is the ever-so-hot Topps Chrome Marvel. So um, it's been out for a few weeks. I was able to get my hands on a box of these. Again, very short printed. I think only three, about a little over 3,000 cases that were actually made because this was actually a UK uh, Europe exclusive. Um, if you're not familiar, right now, North America ha uh, license for Marvel is still with Upper Deck, but that will be moving over to Tops in 2025. But the, uh, Europe does have the rights already, so that's why we're able to get this. Um, it's a beautiful set. Uh, as you can see, I've bought into a few breaks of these and hit some cards already out of this product. So I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and rip it for myself. So there we go. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this gorgeous set. So 2024 Topps Chrome Marvel, one box. So the current market uh, for a box of this, um, I think it opened uh, for pre-orders in the EQL platform over in the UK at about 185 uh, pounds for that and you had a two box limit I'm not sure what distribution for uh, uh, cost was it for that but um, right now they're retailing at about six to seven hundred dollars a box so definitely uh, getting getting uh, that hype similar to what uh, Topps Chrome Disney 100 experience earlier this year it's actually not too dissimilar in terms of the quality of the cards. Actually, it's the same Italian manufacturer that made Topps Chrome Dizzy made these cards as well. And they're distributed at the same, I believe, German um, distributor. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see here, uh, so you get 12 packs per box, six cards per pack. Each pack contains a hit, whether it be an insert or refractor or number card. Uh, I've seen that you generally get three to four numbered cards per box. Um, one other thing that you need to look for right here, you can see that you get a giant size um, box topper right on top. And that will be the first thing that we see right here. And I'll go over um, some of the other hits and whatnot as we continue this. So right off the bat, you can see this box topper right here this time of giant size fantastic four you can see medusa um battling multiple multiple man madrox right there so let me go, go ahead and s make sure you, this is nice and focused for y'all so there you go um these are these can be numbered uh starting from gold to 50 all the way to the super factor one of one um, so you'll see similar, and you can tell that the cardstock itself is also um, very thick. So this is a fairly sizable card right there. All right, let's get into our packs now. And we get 12 packs, six cards each. And hopefully, as you can see in the background, I brought out Mjolnir, which is one of the... Uh, so, um, short printed inserts that you can get out of these. So there's a handful of those that you're looking for. There's uh, facsimile autos similar to Topps Chrome Disney, but there are also art artist autos in here that are sticker autos. All of them are gonna be numbered. Um, so that's really cool and really fun. This one, one of these feels kind of thick. So I'm not sure if I should leave that for later or what, but let's see how we want to do this. Let me go ahead and get this started again if you like content like this please let me know by hitting like and subscribe and away we go so here's the first pack and you can see um, the way I'm gonna be doing this is by pack so the hit is always gonna be facing uh, the other way from the base cards right here so you can already see this rec wrap is a refractor so that's going to be the hit of this pack and let me go ahead and show you that right there rec wrap um similar to bowman and tops frogs you'll see that first the first appearance up top here uh featured on some of these characters that are going to be appearing on cards for the first time like rec rep is here so off to a decent start with a refractor 
of Rec Rep, who's a fairly popular card character in this set. And then here are the base cards you get here, and these are chrome, and they're very thick stock. So here is Emma. Let me feature Emma right now, and you can see like the quality of this card, very similar, again, very similar to Topps Chrome Disney 100 in terms of how thick. You can see that little layer of like acetate um, a little bit on the top of the card. And for comparison, you can kind of see a little bit of the difference between uh, the Topps Chrome card and this is a platinum card which is in itself a fairly uh, thick so that you're going to use uh, 50, 60 point, 59 point uh, top loaders comparatively to the like 25, 35s that you wouldn't usually for the other cards like uh, Marvel Uni uh, Metal Universe or uh, Marvel Platinum. So there you go. Didn't want to show up that. Uh, no original artwork in this. These are all from uh, existing uh, media and other products out there or comic books if you will. So there's Layla, Black Panther, and Spider-Ham who I also have featured here. So there we go. So we start off with a non-numbered refractor. So in terms of the parallels you can fit, um, it's very similar to other Topps Chrome products. There are some Marvelized parallels, if you will, that you can hit, uh, starting with the highest numbered. So you, you saw that with the refractor. The next hit would be a spider web fractor, numbered 399. Obviously, it will have a spider web design. You generally will get um, a couple of those every every box. Um, from there on out, you'll have blue wave to 150. You'll have green, straight green to 99, as well as a green gamma ray wave also to 99, purple to 75, both gold, true golds and gold waves to 50. The uh, another Marvel-esque parallel is the human torch refractor or torch fractors as I call them to 39. Then you, what your more standard tops chrome um, numberings, so orange to 25, black to 10, red to 5, and the super fractor, one of one. All right, so here we go. We have another refractor, this one of Nightcrawler. So you'll see that refractors are going to be listed here. Anything numbered, though, we actually won't know uh, what the numbering is until we flip it over. So here we go. Nightcrawler, great artwork on his card. And I believe that's... Either Warpath or Thunderbird and Phoenix or Rachel Summers in the background for him. Typhoid Mary, Sue Storm, Wagnerine, another first. Ghost Rider, love his art on his, and Modok on the base right there. All right, let's go to this middle one that kind of felt weird, but it could just be the way the, the pack was raised, but that's another refractor, so. And we're getting staying with the giant sized X Men crew with a refractor of Colossus. See there, Colossus on the refractor. So uh, we've been hitting these refractors right off the bat, but some other things outside of the numbered parallels that you can get are some inserts. So I mentioned some uh, short printed inserts. There are some common inserts. Uh, nice Iron Man right there on the base. So there's some common inserts like icons. Um, there's uh, the regular size, size versions of these giant size box toppers. So giant size covers, as well as 90s covers um, as a part of the common insert sets. And like with the box toppers, they can come numbered starting from 50 all the way down to the super factor. And then it's nice Morbius right there. Uh, in terms of the short printed stuff, you do have the short printed stuff is that like that because they are um, very, they only start from, I believe, black. So the base, in a sense, starts at black. And we, here's our first numbered hits. And so the decent character, too, um, all the way down. So you get just the black to 10, the red to 5, and the super fractor 1 of 1. So each of those case hits or short print inserts there's only 16 of each of those 
uh, characters and the checklist most of the times are to 10, 10 characters. So here we go. We have our first numbered hit on X23 and it's a green. So that's that green gamma wave of X23 right here. So very similar, nice first numbered hits on the green gamma ray wave. So that's to 99. Again, you want to use 55 or 59.67 of 99. Just missed the mirror on Laura. So there we go. Cool. Oh, forgot the base. Uh, and these base cards are, again, don't sleep on it if you can get to collect the entire set. It'll be a probably a worthwhile set collecting. Um, even the bigger characters like Spider-Man, I think, still goes for like 10, 15 bucks just for the base. <clears throat> That's raw, not even um, graded yet. So here's a nice Gambit. Love his art in this. You'll see a big Gambit in my next one of my next grading videos because I sent a big one over there to PSA. All right, moving right along. First numbered hit. It's a green, so starting off strong. Usually it's the, uh, the web refractor on that. Here comes our next numbered hit. And this one is of Namor the Submariner. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a blue. Ocean color match on the blue Namor to 150. It looks like 72 of 150 on the Namor the Submariner. Or Submariner if you wanna, if you will. Obsessed with blondes. Mostly Sue Storm. Nice Thanos on the base. There's Blade, Vulture, and a Morlock and Sentry. So uh, this base, there's it's a 150 card base set uh, with that. And then, like I said, there's some common inserts sets, uh, mostly to set. And we have our first one right here in terms of our common inserts. This one is a 90s cover of Future Imperfect Hulk or Maestro Hulk. Very popular comic back in the 90s. As, as you can see here, these are all my covers done in the 90s, so that's why they call it MN, Marvel's 90s. So that's our first insert, common insert of Hulk. Again, they can come numbered, starting at 50. All right, Watu, Haywire, Kitty, and Gore the God Butcher. All right, so we got two of our hits, so I think that might be it. I'd be surprised if we get anything more um, than a web refractor, but I could be pleasantly surprised. Um, I'd love to get an auto, but again, very hard to hit an auto. And ooh, okay. So it's just a refractor, but we did hit nice Wolverine on the refractor right there. Unfortunately, with the base art and Wolverine, a lot of people are saying this, it's not the greatest art, but it's still a refractor of Wolverine that I will take. Um, I think the Spider-Man's refractors are even still selling raw for about $50, so. This is actually probably grade worthy, although it's a little off center. Um, so one thing to keep in note, so I am looking at the left, right centering when we see it centering. Most of the cards appear to be off center top to bottom, but if you look real closely right here, there is actually a little bit of a shadow on the bottom. So um, hopefully uh, the grading companies will take that into note and calibrate accordingly not treat the bottom of that shadow as the uh, the point of reference for, for centering. All right, here comes another insert. Now, like I said, this is the regular size of the giant size inserts. This is giant size Avengers right here. And we got an extra hit. Oh, I didn't go through the rest of the base. Because right on top is a nice one, Captain America. 
War Machine. Again, love his art on in the set. Kronos, Kamala, and Herc on that. Back to this pack. So we have, again, this giant size Avengers. A Refractor of Dormammu on the Refractor. Go ahead and sleeve him up. Base Rhino. Here's the base of the Hulk. Jessica Jones and Annihilus. So in terms of the autos, you can get, like I said before, you can get artist autos. Those are sticker autos, including Frank Miller, who's featured in this set, who also, as you can see, has sketch cards. He has 30 sketch cards in that. But you also have facsimile autos, so very similar to um, Topps Marvel, uh, uh, not Topps, uh, Topps Chrome Disney, I'm sorry. Uh, they can be solo of a character, so you can get a singular Wolverine autograph, or you can have a duel with him and Hulk, or you can get the quad, which features, I believe, him, um, Thor... Captain America and Hulk. So, all right, so here's our third number. Oh, did we get an extra hit? I think we did. So, I will say whenever I see two hits, that means this one's going to be a web fractor and this one's going to be a refractor. Let's see if I'm right. So, this one already says refractor on the gore. I know that. And this is a web fractor. So, I've seen that common. It's a technically a double hit pack, which is great, but you know, always know that if you see two cards facing the other way, two base cards, then one is going to be a refractor, the other is going to be a refractor. So there you go. So Union Jack on that, and Gore on the refractor. And that's Silk. Taskmaster, there's Carnage right there, and Mystique on the base. Last three, so we have three numbers, and uh, I would assume the last one's going to be another Web Fractor, unless they want to surprise us. And here is our numbered hit, and this one's a Valkyrie, though. So Valkyrie is going to be a Web Fractor, as I imagine. So Okay, box. The Wolvi, uh, the Wolvi refractor was definitely a nice part of it, but didn't quite hit on the numbered hits. Because um, generally speaking, uh, this is roughly what I see in terms of the two two web refractors. A green. A lot of times it's a purple or a blue. Um, sometimes it's something else. Let me put these over here, actually. But, hey, if they want to lob us another big hit, I'll be more than welcome. Okay, here's the other common insert. So we saw, looks like all three. And this one's the icons. Icons of Scarlet Witch on the common insert there. You can also, there's two um, anniversary sets, one of Daredevil and one of Spider-Man Gold. Uh, those are about two per case. Those also can be numbered, so not the only other ins inserts or you know the home save it's a short printed insert, but it's not quite a case case hit insert, but not quite a common insert. So here we go, last pack. Hopefully we get something nice. It's most likely just to be a refractor. Nope, they gave us another numbered hit. Unfortunately, it's just a mimic, so it's not going to be massive. Let's see what it is. It's a purple. So we got a purple mimic. Again, purple is to 75. On there. So, five numbered. I'll take that. And rounding out the box, got Jane Foster. There's Venom. Very popular. John Ironfire. The Living Tribunal and Sage to round out our base. So pretty solid, not horrible, but not you know spectacular in terms of what we were looking for. So nothing better. You're looking really want 
uh, the um, gold or betters in terms of your numbered hits, and you obviously want them on, on the bigger characters because oh, I guess I didn't show some of these base. So I got Killmonger, Doctor Doom, Scarlet Witch, X23, which is probably our best hit, and Professor X. So now that we're actually done, let me go ahead and arrange these real quick. There we go. So in our box, we did get one of each of the three common inserts, the icons, a 90s cover, and the giant size cover on that. Got a handful of refractors here. Gore, Dormammu, two. Well, actually, we got all three of the boys from Giant Size X-Men. And then the Rec Wrap to start off with. But our best refractor, obviously, is the Wolverine right here. Nice Wolverine refractor. And then our numbered hits, we got a couple of web fractors. The Valkyrie to 399, Union Jack to 399, Namor to 150. Mimic to 75, and our best hit is this X23 to 99. That's a nice one, actually. So solid, not great. Obviously, we didn't far from making our money back on this, but um, it is a very fun rip. As you can see, there's a lot of hits in a box. So imagine, you know, breaking into a case. You're, uh, I've seen a lot. Most of this is going to be pick your character or random character. So chasing the characters, especially like there's certain art sets that you like. Obviously, some of the more expensive ones um, are going to be uh, big chases because they still have the case hit inserts uh, or featured in those or have some autographs. Um, like uh, Venom does actually doesn't have a whole lot. He does have an icon, but like Hulk is going to be one of them. Wolverine, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, Daredevil, because this is Frank Miller stuff. It's going to be featured a lot. Thor, Thanos, you know. Uh, the usual suspects in any any Marvel product are going to be uh, have a lot of hits or chances at hits, but you're going to cost you in those breaks. But again, this was nice and fun. Hope you enjoyed. What are your thoughts on this new Topps Chrome Marvel set? Again, I'm loving it. Hope you are too. Again, if you like content like this, please let me know by hitting like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by.